let's begin this hour with the Emmy-nominated Ted Lasso star Tohib Jamo. The actor just returned as the beloved character Sam Obisanya in season three of the Apple TV Plus series. And he stars in the upcoming Prime Video series, The Power, out next week. Anthony Mason met up with the 25-year-old in London, and Jimo talks about bringing a piece of himself, his Nigerian heritage, to his two biggest roles yet. Is this where you used to play? Yeah, man, this is, we used to do football tryouts here. Tohib Jimo took us back to his middle school field at the Norwood School in the Brixton neighborhood of London. I'm gonna flop now because I'm on camera. It's here he learned the moves that he shows off playing soccer star Sam Obisanya on Ted Lasso. Take a bow, Sam Obisanya, the first hat trick of his career. You came to the part with some real experience though. Yeah, yeah, like I grew up playing football um, like my entire time through school. Football was the main sport around here. Jamo never played professionally but he did win a local school tournament. I remember I'd, I went crazy and I used to wear my medal to school every single day for like <laughs> the next two weeks. From Norwood, Jamo went on to drama school and a year after graduating in 2019, landed his first film role. What do you want to be? A small part in Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch. And you, Robichon? And then no in pretty quick succession, in that same summer, I got Ted Lasso and The Power. Crazy. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Today we have a very, very, very special guest, okay? In the new Prime Video series, The Power, Jamo plays Tunde, a Nigerian journalist who discovers that a group of young women has developed a mysterious power to generate electricity through their hands. In the first episode, you literally get a shock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a really mind-boggling thing. Like, it poses really dope questions about yeah. power and, and you know, who has it, who doesn't. Yeah, it poses really interesting questions about the power dynamics between men and women. Has it changed much? No, it's exactly the same. <laughs> Jamo discovered his love of acting here at Norwood. It felt bigger when I was here, but I yeah. guess I was probably just little, you know? This was um, your stage? This was my stage. I did all of, all of my rehearsals here, I did all of my performances here. Like, I lived in this room. This was like the birthplace of, of like me wanting to be a performer, me wanting to be an actor. This was my safe haven. Oh, God. His courage to pursue it professionally was inspired by his instructors. This is one of my teachers. Hello. Martin Blakelock. Um, this is the Hi. man I used to force, I used to like sit you down over here and just like yell Shakespeare at you. I remember you did up there. Yeah. You did uh, Julius Caesar. Caesar. Mark Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends, Romans, countrymen, that was lend me your ears. That was one of the moments I thought, okay, we've got a chance here. <laughs> got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Jamo also introduced us to Marcus Condren, deputy head of performing arts at the school. He says you changed his life. That's very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Do you remember that time like you pulled me into your office and, and like you sat me down and you were like, I think you can you can like um I think you can be an actor. Yeah. yeah. Like, bro, that that meant a lot to me. And um oh my god, I always cry when I'm on this stage, bro. <laughs> genuinely, um, I had a really like profound impact on me and, and like I owe so much of what I'm doing now to you and, and I'm like just I can't thank you enough bro because you didn't have to. Like you went above and beyond for me. You were and um yeah, I appreciate you. I wanna stop crying now, but <laughs> what did you see in him? Do you know what? It's easy and it's hard to say at the same time. I think you see the talent and then it's, we always say to them, then the hard work comes. And he had plenty of that as well. Yeah. So, you know, not, not always the best behaved <laughs> at all points throughout his school journey. <laughs> but he's a school hero now for his starring role in Ted Lasso. Oh, oh my God. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry, Sam. Miss Alton. <laughs> Hi. Call me Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca, sorry. In the last season, <laughs> Sam's story took an unexpected <laughs> turn when he began dating an older woman. No, 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 you, you are way too young. I mean, you're what, like 24? I'm, I'm 21. Oh my God, I'm a pedophile. <sighs> did you know the romance was coming in season two? No. no you didn't? No, no, nobody told me about that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember reading the script and I was like, I see. <laughs> the last time I spent this long in bed, it was because I strained a hamstring. <laughs> that older woman was team owner Rebecca Welton, played by the Emmy-winning Hannah Waddingham. But Rebecca, there's something I should warn you of. I'm only gonna get more wonderful. I know. 
fans used to message me and be like, is there anything romantic or is it just platonic? And I was like, oh no, it's platonic. But like, I think what they hit on was that there is a connection between those two characters. Yeah. And yeah, I thought it was really, really special. And you two were friends off screen as well. Oh, me and Hannah, yeah, yeah, she's, she's dope. She's a rock star, that woman. Um, yeah. And I think that's why I also felt really comfortable about it. When Sam faces a critical decision in season two, he looks in his locker at a photograph of his parents. Those actually are your parents. My real life parents, yeah. yeah. Sam and Tahib were like one in that moment. Jimo's father and mother are Nigerian immigrants. My whole life has kind of been about like where I fit in. I kind of felt like I fell in between being a British kid and being a Nigerian kid and never really felt like a part of either club. Born in Britain, Jamo spent his early childhood in Nigeria, returning to London around age seven. So your first memories are in Nigeria? Yeah, my first accent was a Nigerian accent. Yeah. And so yeah, again, like it's really dope because I get to play two Nigerian characters in Sam and Tunde. Um, in what is actually my like first voice, you know? So I always find it really weird how now my career has yeah. taken me back to yeah. the thing that I kind of like got rid of to, to fit in, you know? Yeah, must have made your parents proud though. Yeah, yeah, I think so. My dad's the, like one of the most stoic people ever. So like, yeah. I could do anything. I could win 14 Oscars tomorrow and he'd just be like, good. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Yeah, my mom always had an idea that I was going to be the UK's first black prime minister. Um, maybe I'll play him one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's not going to happen. <laughs> the next episode of Ted Lasso drops tomorrow on Apple TV Plus and The Power premieres on Prime Video March 31st. I saw the first episode. It looks really promising. It's an exciting show. You know, the other thing that's really interesting about about Tahib is he was one of the few black kids from Brixton to get into drama school. That was an, a huge achievement in itself and the school celebrated him for that. But as you see, He's made the most of it. It's that high wattage smile of his, first of all, that just lights up the screen. Number one, he seems like such a nice guy. And as your pieces often do, Anthony, it just touches on all the heart points. I love when he was with his coach. Oh, yeah. I love the storyline with him and Rebecca, of course, with yeah. the older woman and the younger man. I yeah. love that storyline. Why do you love that storyline? I just do. Yes, I noticed you were very focused on that. <laughs> but, but to give us some insight into him, who yeah. he came from and what his background is, yeah. it's yeah. so nice. It's it's I so interesting the the circling back to, to, to being Nigerian because that was really tough for him. Being born in Britain, he thought of himself as British, but, but you know, he couldn't be seen as either one, in effect. Is he as nice as he seems? I know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, that moment with his coach, yes. he literally took us to him. He wanted, he wanted to, uh, to introduce us to his coaches. Okay. Yeah. I've already Beautiful. seen the first episode of Ted Lasso. I can't yeah. wait for the new yeah. one. Yeah, I'm looking can't forward wait. to it also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to the power. I hear it's yeah, very good. I, power looks I great. really like it. Anthony, thank you very much.